Okay, so I'm going to plan, um, explain plan B now. Um, that is, in the case that Cheryl does die, um, at least I'll, you know, she has enough resist to stay up long enough. But if that does happen, then it'll be all down to me, and I'm going to kill off Oric be re before reviving her. And mainly because you don't want any random meteors going off, you know, uh, while you're reviving a person and they and they've just returned I mean Cheryl could survive one meteor attack but then there's the uh, you're having to consider who they aim for and sometimes he switches around a lot he either goes for the last person he was meant to he was uh, he thought he killed so he could aim for Cheryl again or he could go straight for me and and Cheryl just trying to shield me at that, you know, while extra meteors are coming off. I mean, it could help, but I would be lacking a uh, another heal to bring her back when we fight the minions. So we're trying to, reason why I haven't attacked yet is because we're trying to prolong this battle. Um, it seems that Oric only uses his cheating spells more often, the more health he loses. And so there are times when he can be, and they get worse as well. He, there's times where he can use Earthquake when he's weak, and uh, Tower Shield. And again, uh, Tower Shield can be placed at whenever it is a random attack, so it can happen between two different people's attacks. And the reason why we use spiritual blades is, as you as you're seeing, it only removes the life trap. Now we can hypothesize about why it's the life trap. Um, I have one theory that. Uh, it's it's just the obvious reason that it's uh, Oryx's weakness. Or it could be that it's... It, it, well, it, in addition to it being his weakness, it could also be that it's a convertible trap. Meaning... That out of three traps, it has another that it, uh, that it specifically counters. For example, life and death. So uh, following that logic, elemental traps must remove either an ice or fire sh uh, trap. But we'll have to uh, we'll have to try that out and see what happens. So what I'm trying to do is get up a natural death blade a regular spirit blade and then a treasure spirit blade and then uh, over on top of the converts that we have we put on regular spirit trap and treasure spirit trap I'm I'm just watching the the boss's pips trying to figure out uh, when he's going to be attacking because Cheryl does have to consider uh, or we all have to consider that Cheryl's getting hit by uh, a heck hound his regular attacks which is based on his pips and those random meteors so right now I'm just worried about uh, protecting her as much as possible. But at the same time, I've got to keep in mind that, uh, again, we're not going for a, a survival run against Oric. We're going for a, a short, fast kill. So then he has no chance of using Earthquake on me, or at least uh, towering up like crazy. Let alone, once his health drops, his minions will pop out.
three balance uh, stompers, they're called. And they could just cast a series of weaknesses, um, death shields all over, maybe on top of my converts, and therefore reducing my damage by half. So at this point, this is the uh, the peak of the battle, I would say. This is where it starts turning and relying on plan B, because Cheryl does, does die to that. It seems like her dispel canceled maybe a Heckhound, and then, uh, so he was trying to cheat, and then he was using another cheat right afterwards, that Meteor, and that's another cheat right there. Uh, he... I believe he passed on whatever the turn that was and casted an another meteor. So that was about three cheats in a row, only two of them successful. So now I've got to worry about staying up in the battle. I mean, I could get hit by two cheats in a row again. So it's time to Wraith. Regain some of that health back. And damage or carefully. So there you go, three blades used and two traps used with a convert. Convert giving me about a 1.5 boost to my attack. Not bad, I mean, I take about two thirds of its health off. So it puts me back up in the game and ready to, ready to repeat that. So I'm thinking, like, oh boy, or, uh, how many head counts is that going to be? Is that just going to be one, and then a meteor, and then another one? I have no idea. I just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just sitting in my chair, hoping. Okay, this has got to go down good. So now, finally, sacrifice comes up, and I know I'm missing a death blade somewhere, but with what I have on and with the uh, traps on Oric, I know I can kill him with a wraith. And so right now I'm debating, and I even asked for Cheryl's opinion, uh, should I Scarecrow, you know, assuming that the cheat will blow off, and then, um, you know, at least with all the blades I have on, I can damage the minions heavily in the process as well, uh, healing from whatever hits me, but as you can see, I fizzled, and that was, that was just the, uh, That was what made the decision, basically, and I'm just hoping that none of these minions are going to weaken me. So now I have the choice to either give Orc another turn to cheat. I mean, not, necess not necessarily that I have control over that, but I can limit the number of times he has the chance to cheat, and that's by just choosing wisely and choosing um, and attacking soon, in this case. So there we have it. If I mean, if I blade it, um, I might have been dead the next turn, but instead I chose to, I mean, just, uh, incredibly wise in choosing to attack instead, regain any health. Again, um, playing against a boss that interrupts, you've got to have a huge amount of anticipation. You've got to be able to think two, three steps ahead. Same in PvP. So I have the arena to sort of thank for that, that kind of train of thought and for these strategies. Okay, so now I'm down to just a few attacks. These minions have three pips each. Again, uh, pip count is very, very important. So I'm asking Cheryl to trust me, so... In the next video, we'll continue and you'll get to see the conclusion. Hopefully, it'll be the last part. I'm not sure just yet. So go ahead and click the button and you can move on to the next video after you're done.